Well, this has been a tremendous conference. We had a wonderful program, many CEOs, leaders of stellar companies across the United States. Not only did we have a uh, really deep uh, discussion of our own energy resources here, particularly in the Marcellus region, but it was tied to the global energy markets, particularly in the Mideast. I think AMEI has set a very strong uh, reputation of being a, a gold caliber event, the very best. The American Middle East Institute is highly, highly respected in the Middle East. So, you know, it's keeping with our core mission. I mean, we believe that soft diplomacy rather than hard diplomacy really is the best way to advance people, to advance that whole region. And that's really the, the core values of the, of the American Middle East Institute. And then to cap it all off, we had General Colin Powell. What AMEI is doing is focusing on trade and business. Because at the end of the day, success in these countries are going to come from having an economy that's functioning and having people who have jobs. Jobs are perhaps the most important thing needed to solve some of the problems of the Middle East. We're the second largest energy in the field in the world if you count our nuclear, our coal, our wind, our solar, and particularly our natural gas. Uh, that gives us a role in the world, but particularly here in the United States. Energy equals jobs. I think with the energy water nexus, AMEI selected the right topic at the right time. An organization like this clearly demonstrates how small the world is getting, how we here in Pittsburgh and in Pennsylvania are part of a much bigger global picture. There's an opportunity for the American Middle East Institute to really play the role of a bridge between our country and the countries of the Middle East. We invite delegations here from the Middle East. We welcome them here. We, we make them feel like they can always find a friend here at the American Middle East Institute.